Hi, my name is Pranay and I work with an organization called Advanced Innovation Group. And through this video, I intend to introduce you to the basic concept around the seven types of wastes popularly referred to as muda in the lean terminology. You would already know that any activity that absorbs resources but adds no value is what is termed as a waste or muda. Muda is a Japanese word which stands for waste. Activities that add no value, that add cost and time are ones that must be challenged in the organization. They must be taken care of and removed. And often, waste is merely a symptom. One must identify the root causes of the waste and work at elimination of the waste. Waste largely points towards problem within the system, within a process. Lean practitioners all across the world are of the view that if you were to evaluate a business process not having been evaluated for waste, you would typically find between 1 to 10 percent of all activities useful and the rest being waste. There are seven types of wastes that are popularly outlined in the industry. They are overproduction, excess inventory, unnecessary processing, unnecessary motion, defects, waiting, transportation and conveyance. One must identify waste in every business process and look at eliminating them. In the subsequent slides, I will introduce you to the concept behind them and give you a few examples for greater clarity. The first muda that I am discussing is overproduction. Whenever business processes are producing more than necessary, that is what is termed as overproduction. You are doing more transactions than you actually require. You are producing more products than you actually have demand for. And such overproduction will consume valuable resources which are not immediately needed. Overproduction often hides other process problems like bad quality, poor scheduling, poor delivery, etc. And it will end up creating inventory which is not needed. Building inventory would add to another type of waste which we will subsequently discuss. Whenever you overproduce, you will end up taking more floor space. You would end up working on wrong priority work. You would be ending up generating more information, more reports, more papers than necessary. You would be generating more documents than needed. You must ensure that you produce or order only what, when and in the quantity needed. Let's talk about the waste number two, excess inventory. When you produce more than necessary or you procure more inputs than necessary, you are creating another waste referred to as excess inventory. Excess inventory can be very dangerous for business as it ties up capital, it will require moving, it takes up valuable space. In fast moving commodities, you are often challenged with obsolescence of inventory. Excess inventory can lead to losses due to damage, could have multiple quality problems. It reduces your customer responsiveness. And, and, and I would add another one. I, I would say that you know, excess inventory is often innovation preventive. When you have more inputs than you actually need, these inputs would need to be procured, so you end up spending money that could have been used otherwise. 
when you procure inputs, these inputs will require some storage space. And in a few conditions, the storage may itself require protection. So if you were to procure a lot, lot of food grain, food grains can be susceptible to insects. So you will need to put in provisions to protect this extra inventory that you've procured. Whenever you procure more, you prevent yourself from innovating. I'll give you my own organizational example. You know. If I were to order for the quantity of books that I, that I may end up needing for an entire year in advance, let's, let's take an example. So let's say I ordered for a 1,000 book, 1,000 Six Sigma Black Belt books, hoping that I will have this number of customers. Buying or procuring 1,000 books can be hazardous to business because I will not be willing to listen to customer advice and change my book because I have a piled up inventory. Hence, I use the word obsolence and innovation preventive. And, and one of the greatest examples that I, I often find in, in today's time is hard disks. Hard disks have become, have, have become a, a, a dustbin for most of us. You, we've been... We've populated our hard disk with so much old data, data which is obsolete, unnecessary, etc. We have a lot of inventory on shelves and racks and floors. And this inventory can be very dangerous to business. You must develop efficient use of inventory. And you should not look at just-in-case kind of inventory. That can that can really, really ruin your business. Thank you. Let's move to the third uh, muda, which is over-processing. Doing more than necessary is what is over-processing. No. It, it will consume valuable resources like disk, disk space. It will create delays. You will have more opportunity for defects. And the most common examples of unnecessary processing could be in the forms that we keep in our own organization. Unnecessary data being captured. Unnecessary approval processes in the system. We are doing processing beyond the specification limit. Unnecessary reports, charts, graphs being built, which are largely unnecessary in business. Overprocessing creates more work, so you must ensure that you eliminate excess work in business. The fourth kind of waste is the unnecessary motion. You must understand and appreciate that unnecessary motion will waste the cycle time. It will have safety concerns. It will impact your labor efficiency. So while you are sitting, searching, turning around, or walking, or climbing, or choosing, bending over, or lying down to do a particular activity, you are essentially creating another waste. You must treat your operators as surgeons. Everything should be within their reach. What they need, when they need, and where they need. All kinds of unnecessary motions that the operator needs to bend to be able to pick a particular tool to be able to do his job is, is unnecessary motion. He will have to walk to get some tool to be able to process unnecessary motion. He has to choose between files, unnecessary motion. You must work at eliminating this waste in your business. The fifth waste is our, our same own defect. Defect is always dangerous for business. It creates rework, it, it costs you a lot of money, it hurts your customer satisfaction. First time rights are always better in terms of cost efficiency. So rework will always hit you on the cost. Defects create a bad a bad DNA in the organization. 
defects will create waiting defects will create defective products you must pick up the six sigma mentality you must work at reducing defects in your business the sixth kind of waste is waiting the same old waiting each time a business process people systems are waiting to do their job waiting for inputs waiting for peer reviews waiting because decisions have not been taken inspection has inspections have not been done there are there are unnecessary feedback procedures approval mechanisms this is a very very definitive kind of waste it adds to cycle time it consumes valuable resources which could have been carefully deployed to help business do better it increases wip or work in progress it slows your response to the customer waiting is essentially paying for uh, paying for not doing anything dangerous examples could be could be as simple as you know you 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 are waiting for downloading files that you need to use you are waiting for peer reviews there there are there are idle times due to lack of standard operations waiting for inputs and decisions to be taken when in inventory waits your customer waits so remember waiting can be dangerous the seventh kind of waste is unnecessary transportation motion was about humans here we are talking about resources unnecessary transportation adds to the project cycle time it, it consumes valuable resources it there is capital expenditure involved breakages is, breakages are possible unnecessary motion is created so each time you do a job you will have to send an email or a phone call to a customer you're sending emails with reply to or cc to people who don't need that information are all examples of unnecessary transportation data which is not in a standard format is unnecessary transportation and this unnecessary transportation can be costly you must work at identifying and killing these seven wastes in your business i uh, have have been spent a uh, lot of years now in the uh, lean six sigma industry uh, for me if i were to look at implementing lean in any organization service or manufacturing on a product floor or knowledge floor i would look for these basic examples over production a product flow example could be sub assemblies and components between feeder and main lines a knowledge flow example could be processing before the next operation is ready processing prior to need or making decisions too early excess inventory example could be material between operations and process steps inventory stored in warehouses buffer and safety stock inventory being piled up just in case theory or the the knowledge knowledge flow example could be multiple credit applications awaiting approvals unnecessary document or data storage extra processing could be planned rework unplanned rework handwork polishing rubbing cleaning all that could be could be examples of extra processing extra processing example could be navigating multiple screens to input data and the same example will be part of the uh, unnecessary motion as well you have multiple ways of doing the same task you have printed material you have duplicate entries all are examples of unnecessary processing the most common would in in manufacturing firms are Uh, is the uh, unnecessary motion so operators are bending tuning twisting reaching walking and and these will raise safety concerns as well 
the knowledge flow example could be the same you know uh, navigating multiple screens to input data you are printing material again the ergonomic needs uh, ergonomic issues of walking bending twisting looking for data or information searching all that could be examples of unnecessary motion defects are simple you know, poor quality of material equipment failures m missing customer due dates internal external data being incorrect missed customer due dates data entry errors rework are all examples of defect waiting could be operators are waiting or machines are waiting or customers are waiting credit applications are waiting approvals etc for transportation you could use the example of conveyance of any material tooling conveyance systems etc etc i hope this simple video helps you understand at least the basic concept of the seven waste in the subsequent videos please look forward to detailed discussion and case studies on uh, the seven types of waste Thank you.